All right, Brian Howard here, BK's Credit Group at bkscreditgroup.com, and this is video three on setting up a legitimate business to help build business credit. Now, video one, we talked about the importance of a business fax number, and video two, we talked about the importance um, of getting your business listed in the 411 directories and other directories, and then in, biz in video three, which we have here, we're going to talk about a website. A website a professional website at that is very important because it helps the lender get a lot of information about you and your business. And it's better for them to easily be able to find that information and be able to find it in one place presented by you than for them to have to go around, search around, piece it together and find information um, or the sources. So you want to have a legitimate business or professional rather business website to help establish your business legitimacy. That's one of the first things that a lender is going to do when they go to research and check out your business. It's actually one of the first things that a potential client or customer is going to do when they want to find out about your business. So let me just give you just a couple of things that lenders look for and that's very, very important when it talks about uh, legitimacy and having a website because all websites are not created the same. Uh, you know, so you want to be very careful about who you get to build your website. A website is not just content thrown onto a web page. Uh, it needs to really serve a purpose. And so what I'm going to show you right here, uh, an example with my website is how I have my website set up in a way that I know what the lenders are look for, looking for, and so I make sure that I have that information readily available. So let's just go over here to my website. You're looking at now, what you're looking at is my website, bkhcreditgroup.com. All right. One of the first things that lenders want to know is if we give you money, will we be able to find you? So right here across the top, we have a phone number and an email address. OK, we have a phone number and an email address. Then we have all our social media icons and it's right here across the very top. It's put there for a reason. Like I said, not only for the lenders, but for but for the customers. Only. How can we get in contact with you? OK, also. Down at the bottom again, we have our contact information, our address. Uh, email address and phone number. And then right here to the left, we have what it is that we do, right, and our company. So you want them to be able to easily find how to get in contact with you and what it is that you do. The other thing that you've probably never seen before that you might not even know is important, and I want you to go look at some of the websites of some of your friends that have businesses and tell me whether or not they have this or not. And that is a legal disclaimer in terms of conditions or some or some you may see legal disclaimer and privacy policy. Every legitimate business entity is going to have legal disclaimers because you're a legal entity and you're trying to protect your business from frivolous suits and different things like that. And so the lender, if he's lending you money, he wants to lend money. He wants to extend credit to a business that has these type of protections in place. So it's very important that you have your legal disclaimers and your terms and conditions on your website. And there you see all of our legal our legal disclaimers. And then here is our terms and our terms and conditions, et cetera, et cetera. And so, you know, we're very good at building websites here at BKH Credit Group. And so if you want a website built, that's something that we could actually help you with to help you get the proper website set up so you not only look good to your customer, but also that you look good to the lenders. The last piece of information, and this kind of piggybacks on what I started out talking about, was the lender be feeling confident that you're going to be someone that they're going to be able to contact and reach out to. And so obviously every business website needs to have a contact page. Well, again, where we have a phone number, we have a way to submit questions. And on my website, I actually have a link to Google Maps to show where we're located. That not only has a link to Google Maps, but also has a pop up that says we have 79 reviews, five star reviews. So this makes a lender feel very confident that this is a business that we can lend to.
So these are just some website practices that I wanted to show you that will really, really help you in trying to establish, you know, um, a strong website presence for your business. And again, these are all, all the things that I talk about in these videos. These are all services that we can help you with, consult you with, or provide those services to you. All you have to do is just reach out to us and we can definitely get you on our calendar and we can talk about how we can help you with your website or anything else that you may have a question with if you do choose to do that. Okay. So this is Brian Howard signing out for BK's Credit Group. Remember, to, in order to establish business legitimacy, you must have a professional website, a professional website with link, legal disclaimers and terms and conditions listed on your website.